I was first exposed to pornography at the age of nine years old. Um, it's, I stumbled across the video um, accidentally and I continued to watch uh, pornography out of curiosity at the start, but as time progressed, I discovered that it actually fulfilled a weird emotional need for being wanted, for feeling special, um, for being loved almost. Uh, I was loving myself. For it progressed for a long time, um, feeling that way. It was one way for me to mask how I felt inside with the oppression of feelings on the outside from other people. So I had spent my time in pornography for about 15 years, um, was able to get out of it, but now I have suffered um, natural negative consequences of that. Uh, my husband and I have sometimes have a hard time being intimate with each other because of my own emotional uh, disdain for myself as well as um, I am very emotionally shut off sometimes and he has to draw that out of me because of my past pornography addiction that it has um, my emotion towards sex is more of a chore instead of being connected with my husband. Other uh, consequences that I had from my pornography addiction was I was in school at the time, in college, um, when it got really bad. I was constantly late to school, um, in classes, and even work, and I obviously had consequences from the teachers and my job for that um, lack of, you know, being able to be paid for the amount of hours I was supposed to be working instead of um, actually showing up on time because of how engulfed uh, the pornography addiction was. Having such a heightened addiction as pornography, you get emotionally shut off from the rest of the world. Um, from different relationships, it's hard to make connections because you're so used to connecting to fake people, um, as well as yourself. You're, you aren't connected to yourself more than you're connected to the people that you're watching. Um, relationships with my husband or with my family or even friends, you just learn how to be fake around them and not you're not sure how to interact with them because the only interaction that you have on a normal everyday basis for hours on end would be somebody in a computer screen that you've never met, somebody you will never meet, and somebody that doesn't obtain to what the standards, normal standards are in everyday life. I finally, after 15 years of my pornography addiction, broke free on November 13, 2011 uh, while I was attending school uh, God really got a hold of my heart by somebody, I don't remember who it was, recommending me um, a book to read about um, called Don't Want You Sure Life by uh, John Piper. And it just talks about, his book talks about just getting rid of all the idols in your life that scare you to even think about getting rid of. Um, instead of it being God solely in your life, what are you afraid of to get rid of? Whether it be DVDs or for me it was pornography. What scares you? to just allow God to intervene in that part of your life. And I, I, my, I remember my heart pounding and sweat and <laughs> thinking about, I have to get rid of this thing. And you have such a, a tear between God's love for you as well as this whole instant gratification in today's society on what pornography can give you in that moment instead of a lifetime of eternal happiness with God. And he helped me, God helped me realize the different areas of my life that I was integrating pornography. And so I got rid of DVDs, I got rid of books, I got um, programs on my computer to help me um, not engage in something that was not going to bring me closer to him. And on top of that, when I got rid of all of that, I engaged myself with any Christian novel I could get my hands on, including the Bible, and sermons that I was watching on my computer and associating my computer with sermons instead of pornography um, really helped me grow deeper in love with God and start separating myself from everything that I was watching. And once it got to the point where thinking about watching pornography made me physically sick, I knew that God had rescued me in a way that I never thought that I could be overwhelmed by him more than overwhelmed by the addiction to watch pornography. 
So he's definitely been a soul, um, the reason why I'm no longer um, entrapped by something that Satan glorifies every day. The most important thing that you can do to rid yourself of a pornography addiction, um, such as I had, what is to fill whatever routine that you are filling with that pornography, whether it be a couple hours at night or during the day, whatever, whenever that time is to just grab something positive, something biblical, either the Bible or even a Christian author, grab something that's going to help fill your brain with something that is more God fulfilling and um, something that's going to help you better your relationship with God more than better your relationship with something that doesn't even exist. Another thing that you can do to overcome a pornography addiction is find the root cause as to why you have an addiction. It may not be pornography, it could be something completely different, but find the root cause that's, that's making you run towards that instead of run towards God. I had an emotional um, detachment from people because I was being oppressed, but instead of running to God to fulfill that need of being wanted and loved, I ran to something else. So what is it that's causing you to run towards your addiction instead of running towards God?